Well, hi, and welcome to Bruce Grove Studios. I'm Dennis McKenzie, and I'm going to be making a series of videos to put on our website, and probably put them on YouTube as well for my students. Uh, many times when I demonstrate, uh, you know, how to make a number of different things, uh, it's not easily remembered and all the little techniques like that. And so I thought I'd start at the beginning where I start with them, and that is how to center. A lot of people in the ceramics world have trouble learning how to center. But I learned a technique from Robin Hopper, uh, whose books and videos I highly advise if you want to get into this deeply. Uh, and using this way of centering, everyone is centering right away in the class every night. I mean, it, it's just so easy. First of all, you shouldn't be too low, sitting too low at the wheel. Notice where my chair is. It's about the height of the wheel. Notice where my knees are. They're right about here in the middle of the uh, splash pan. This is because if you're sitting too low, you don't have enough strength or leverage to make the wheel low, uh, to make the clay go in the center. It takes a lot of strength making the clay go into center. The clay is firm and wants to do what it wants to do, which is stay out of center and throw you all over the place. So we're taking about a two pound piece of clay so that it fits comfortably in your hand. And uh, this happens to be porcelain clay. So what I'm going to do is throw it on the wheel. That centered close enough. You sort of pat your clay around, get it sort of as centered as you can, you know. Roll up your sleeves. And we use water, of course, to to make it wet, so it slips through our fingers. So you can see that the clay is not in the center. But the main trick of this centering method is to take your elbow and place it on the inside of your thigh, high up on your leg. Place your foot back behind you a little bit, so you get like this. And you want to be right up, either sitting on the edge of your chair or moving the wheel just back a little bit closer so that there becomes no distance between this open palm part here of your hand and of the uh, clay. And this is locked in here, not on top of your leg, but in here. So you can push with this end of your wrist or palm of your hand. There's a lot of power here. It's like, you know, you push if you push a car out of a ditch, um, you're not just going like this. You know, crunching down and, and getting uh, getting all the leverage you can to make the uh, job go easier. So this is what we're doing with this. We're using the leverage of our bodies from the, our feet, our legs, moving up here through our skeletal system, into our shoulder, and down to the palm here, which does the effort. So you're pushing at about, oh, I don't know, 7 o'clock or something, right across the room here. Push in with this hand, and then this hand, the right hand, is out here on the end of your knee, and it pushes down on the top. And you have the wheel going at a fairly high speed. And make your hand go at a slight angle. Pots in center. Plays in center. It's that simple. Wet it, throw it out of center. Oh, come on. This thing's been sticking a bit. Add a little water, push. And you're working right here, pretty much, with this part of the hand. In center. What you don't want to do is have it real hard, you're pushing real hard, and then pop away. Because it'll bounce out of center. So you're pushing with your hand, right here, locked into your body, so you can lean your shoulder into it, lean into it. It does take a lot of force, but if you use your leverage of your body, it isn't all that much. And then this hand is pushing down on this quarter right here, right about, oh, four o'clock or so, whatever feels com comfortable. 
So you know, I'm not using the tips of my fingers here. I'm using the palm or the karate chop part of the uh, hand. So that pushes down and you hold it. And they require two different pressures. One is applying more foot pounds pressure than the other. So this is about what I would start out with. Just like that, it's out of center. Make sure your elbow is locked into your hip, and your arms are on your legs. Push down on the top, hold it, gently release the pressure, and you have it centered. 